Hey dudes, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl BK Naturally. Thank you for clicking on another video. If you are new, welcome. Take a moment and hit that subscribe button, ring that alarm, and sound off in the comments for your girl. Let me know that you're here. Let me know that you're watching. Today, I'm going to be sharing some of my summer empties with you guys. That includes hygiene and hair products. So if that is something that you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with the hygiene products. Um, I have a few. I probably could have had a little bit more, but at the time that I decided to keep them around for my empties video, I had already thrown out quite a bit. But to start off... I have this Mandara Spa Hawaii. It's an island coffee scrub. This was something I actually got in Hawaii uh, in 2018, so two years ago. And it took me up until now to finish it. Um, I had like the littlest bit for the longest time, but it's a coffee scrub. Coffee scrubs are supposed to be really good for like exfoliating, detoxing your skin and um, I guess purifying. I enjoy using this. It definitely has coffee in it so very coffee scent if that's not something you're into um you know i would say try something else understanding these are really really good for you um health wise as well and you can actually order these from the spa that i got them from in hawaii online if I can find the link, I will link it down below if that's something you may be interested in. If given the chance and when, I will repurchase this. So I have two of the Dove Sensitive Skin Bars. This is the soap I use for the nether regions and I'm almost certain I've gone through more of these, but these were the two I saved. So of course, um, hygiene is important. We already know that I'm gonna be rebuying these. But this is what I use, the only thing I use down there, and it works for me very well. So I have the Dove Beauty Bar in the pear scent. Um, I believe this is pear and aloe, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't say it on the actual, oh yeah, it doesn't say it on the soap bar, but you can see the aloe there. So it's pear and aloe. I bought the bar soaps. I thought this was like a really sexy summer fragrance. I do have some of the body washes. I still have some of the soap left. Um, I have different scents that I would be transitioning into for the fall, but this is definitely something worth trying. It smells amazing, you know, very fresh, fruity, but not overpowering, you know, to the point where, you know, some things can make you like sick because they're so fruity sweet. It's not like that. It's a really refreshing pear scent and I enjoyed using this while I was using it. We have the Dove White Bar and this typically I'll use when I don't have like a matching soap scent for like a body wash, but the classic Dove, it smells amazing. So from time to time, I just go back to it just because. I have the Dove Mango Butter Bar Soap and this, uh, this smells so good. I have the body wash to this. I found the body wash in the South. I could not find it like online. I couldn't find it up North. But when I finally found it, I was so ecstatic because this smells like summer heaven. If you have not tried the Mango Butter Body Bar by Dove, I suggest you try it. You know, if, if seasons don't matter to you, if you're not someone who kind of pairs your scents with the seasons, then if you can find it, try it. Fall, winter, doesn't matter. It's really, really good. You know, Mango Butter is super moisturizing, so I'm pretty certain it'll be fine in the winter. But... Yes, will I be repurchasing this? Absolutely. I have another Dove Beauty Bar. This is the Summer Care line, limited edition. This was the grapefruit. Um, I wanna say it's grapefruit and citrus or citrus and something. Citrus mint maybe, because I see mint on the package. But this was a really nice, light, fruity scent also. Um, this bar is exfoliating. From the things that I've tried from their summer lines, they all seem to be exfoliating soaps, which I really like. The original Summer Care scent, I don't, I couldn't find that one this year, but they both smell really, really good. I love that they have the micro exfoliators in the soap. So I'm someone that likes to exfoliate pretty much almost daily. The thing about exfoliating daily is they, you know, it's said that you really should not, but I think there is, I think it's really more of not harsh exfoliating on a daily basis. So I kind of alternate like the soaps with um, some of the more aggressive like exfoliators, like the, the Tree Hut 
exfoliating scrubs. I'll use Dove's gentle exfoliators and some days i'll actually use like exfoliating rags so they all have different levels of exfoliation so i alternate between all of those because i like to exfoliate in some form but there are some some days you know where the soap is sufficient because it's really an extremely gentle exfoliant and these are really good so if this is something if you like grapefruit if you like mint if it's something you just like again like i said you like to have your your scents paired with your seasons this is something that would be good to try out for the summer season and i just have a second one of that same one i have the tree hut shea sugar scrub and exotic bloom this scent oh, it's so addictive it smelled so good. I went through this probably in like two, maybe three weeks. That's how much I was using it. It smells so good. Mm. And this surprisingly, I don't, what are the notes in here? Mm. Okay, so it makes sense. Um, there's definitely like citrus oil. It's, it's It has orange oil in it, which I guess is why it paired so well with that because even though it's like, it says exotic bloom, I was like, there's, it's, almost like there's a note of citrus in it which is why i guess it makes sense that it paired well with that so i use this mostly when i was using the grapefruit at the beginning and i went through this so quickly it smells so good and i will definitely repurchase it and then i just have another dove beauty bar sensitive skin <laughs> And I have another one. So I think that was what, four of these in total. Okay, so moving on to hair empties. Um, Y'all think it is a game when I say that the African Pride Pre-Poo is bae, okay? I went through, what, two, four, six, seven of these. Seven in the last three months. So <laughs> one, two, three four, five, wait, no, five, <laughs> six, seven. This is bay. I've gone through two of the Manuka Honey Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Masks. Again, these are bay. Two deep conditioning masks. So you guys see I'm putting out content. I'm putting out wash days. I'm I'm using other products, but I still managed to go through two of these in the last three months. This is bae. I have the Intensive Hydration Conditioner. Um, this is one of the ones that I've gone through. I think I might have threw the other one out that I finished. I had my boyfriend go out and purchase one of these, but I'm pretty certain I had thrown one out before I decided to do the actual empty video, the empties video. I finished up my Texture ID Deep Treatment Mask. I just finished this in my last wash day, video to come. But I like this mask and I do repurchase it. I probably will still repurchase it. Um, it does need a little help, you know, in my opinion. Typically when I use this, I will pair it with an oil, preferably avocado oil. It just helps the moisturization come through better in the products. Um, I did use it on its own the last time I used it and, you know, it did work fine. I sat under the dryer for um, an extended period of time, but this is one of those products. It does work well, but to me, it just needs a little help. I have a Dove Beauty Bar in the exfoliating scent, the regular exfoliating scent. I love this soap. If I had to give up all of the Dove soaps I use and I could only choose one, this would be it. This is the soap I typically use for like nighttime showers. Um, I love the scent. It's very relaxing, very refreshing at night. Plus I like that it has the exfoliating beads in it. But when I say this scent is intoxicating, it is intoxicating to me. I love it. And if they said today that I could only pick one Dove bar to use forever, then this would be my kinky curly curling custard i've gone through two of these in the last three months um i've said this in a video or two prior that this is one of my summer wash and go go to's and i go through this product like nothing in the summertime it just sets my wash and goes right elongation you know they stay moisturized the curls are super super defined and 
you just you can't go wrong with it um you know it's a this is an old school staple and it's going to stay a staple for me i have two of the blueberry bliss hair milks I keep telling y'all, I keep telling y'all which products to bay, and I don't think y'all was believing me. I don't think y'all were believing me, but the proof is in the use. I have two of these going out. I'm recording some content for you guys that'll be coming down the line, and I showed one that's half empty in that one, and I want to say I have about like two or three more of the backups. Uh, that is how much I use these. This is one of my holy girl products. I say it, and I'll say it again, and I'll say it again and again because it is i have the curls aloe and blueberry juice curl moisturizer so curl refreshers are something that i've just gotten into this year i've had this for quite some time and initially when i started using it i wasn't a huge fan because it was just like super sticky i guess that is how most curl moisturizers are or curl refreshers are um, the thing I've, I've just learned how to use them. I've gotten comfortable with what to expect from them and curl refreshers. I will go out on a limb and say that this is probably the most slept on hair product in the natural hair community. Curl refreshers are bomb. 2020 introduced me to curl refreshers and me and curl refreshers, we're going to be skating in 2021 together. These things have gotten me together for that daily refresh that I need. And sometimes I use water. I used to use water a lot, but the thing I find with water is sometimes it invites frizz where you don't really want frizz. So this, you kind of get that same wetness and refresh without the frizz that you would get from water, if that makes sense. So I use this up. I will be repurchasing it. I go through these, I think, relatively quickly. I have a couple now that, you know, I'm using that I just purchased, but I will be looking to buy this again pretty soon. Bay, bay, bay. Briogeo Avocado and Quinoa Co-Wash. So this is something that I was introduced to this year. Um, not by anyone in particular, just in me looking for a co-wash, looking for, you know, a product that I'd be interested in trying. Like I, I always say my hair loves avocado. You know, I'm familiar with the Briogeo brand and this did not disappoint. I introduced this into my stash this year. It quickly rose to number one as my favorite co-wash. And this is something that I just will not be without going forward. So definitely will repurchase and I will recommend this to anyone hands down. If you're looking for a great co-wash, try it. Pattern Beauty Hydration Mist Curl Refresher. So this was the sample uh, bottle that I got, I wanna say at the end of July or something like that. And it's gone. So I went and purchased another full size bottle of this and y'all already know that these pattern products are not cheap. So that says a lot, especially because I'm not a huge fan of the smell, but this works. Um, this probably of all the curl refreshers that I've tried, I like this one the best in terms of the feel, like the texture. And you get that, you get more of that kind of like water based feel, but at the same time, it does not create the frizz that water creates. So less stickiness, more of a water-based feel, and it's it's a really good hydrator. So definitely repurchased already. So I guess, yes, I will be repurchasing in the future. I finished up the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In. Um, this was, I probably started using this in July. And this one is already done. I have another that I'm going through that is near done. So you you guys will probably see that in the next MDs video, but just to make the point that I've used close to two of these in the last three months. Just <laughs> if you don't have it, what are you doing, sis? What are you doing? What are you doing, July? Go get it, girl. Go get it. I have the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask. Um, this I did use up pretty quickly. And I would say that's maybe to my own fault. <laughs> I used too much of the product the first time I used this conditioner. So when I went to use it the second time, it was really only enough for one application. It was very little left in the jar. And it was a great deep conditioner. And I have purchased another one. So I have that on deck already. Um... I don't know. I don't know what else I can say about Camille Rose. 
I feel like we all already know what it is when it comes to these products, okay? I have one of the three minute Miracle Aussie Moist Deep Conditioners I finished over the summer. Um, you know, Holy Grail product, Holy Grail rinse out conditioner, Silicone Bay, it does its job. And then I have what I feel, what I feel is one of the most slept on stylers in the natural hair community. This Texture ID Styling Cream, I don't know, it seems to be hit or miss for people, but I feel like it just doesn't get the love it deserves. And this is probably one of few products that I've tried that I can honestly say it stands alone. It doesn't need any backup. It said, don't come for me because I got this. And this product, when I say is one of the most moisturizing stylers that I've ever used, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be a braid out, a twist out. I actually did a Bantu knot out. Um, that was what I, a Bantu knot protective style. That's what I used the last of it for. And when I say my hair was moisturized for a whole week, and y'all already know, like I'm a person that cleanses and I, I shampoo and I cleanse twice out the week. And that's really because I like to keep my hair hydrated. There was no need, you know, Bantu Knot, super moisturized, texture ID, silent cream, never lets me down no matter whether I'm doing twists, braids, whatever other styling. And this is actually a great product to dry style with. And I say dry style, if you do stretched hair, um, if you blow dry your hair, like you're looking to do like twist outs or braid outs on dry, uh, blow dried stretched hair, great standalone product to add moisture without reverting your hair back. Those are all the hair products and I have two quick beauty products. So um, I went through some nail polish remover. It takes forever to go through these, but I went through it. And then the last thing is a part of my skincare routine. This is the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum. Um, it's collagen boosted with True C Complex, and this is Bay. Uh, I use this full line for my daily morning skincare routine, and I don't, I don't know what else to say. Like, <laughs> it be setting me straight. That is everything in my product empties. Let me know if there's anything from my empties that you guys use. If there's anything that you disagree with about the products that I've shown you here. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, stay kind, stay natural, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.